That was guitarist Ken Y. Mullings with Ed Sheeran's Thinking Out Loud. So, Smile Jammers, we are heading to the land of the rising sun. We're about to meet Jamaican visual artist Marvin Thompson and his wife, I hope this is Reika, who are making an impact in Japan with their amazing artwork. They zoom in now to have a chat. Good morning, guys. How are you? Hi, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> nice to see uh, you this morning. morning. Uh, is it morning? Is it still morning in Japan? It is night yeah. in Japan. It is night. So good night to you, uh, where you Thank are you. in the world. Uh, so I'm going to start with you first, Marvin, and how you got involved with art. Started pretty young, at age five. Yeah, 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 yeah. So you know, um, my older cousin mm -hmm. uh, came out brown. Um, he was always good with drawing, so from primary school um, he was recognized by uh, his drawing skills. So I always follow him and um, I adapt some of his drawing skills. Yes. Uh, I pursued it but um, unfortunately he changed his lifestyle when he went overseas. Mm -hmm. and yeah. then, and, but you continued with it so well that you taught art. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Point. So I... Yeah, so I studied art at uh, Edna Manley Edna College, Manley. and I, yeah, where I did um, a bachelor in art education. Yes. And I, after um, my studies, I teach at uh, Jamaica College yeah. for a little while. Yeah. yeah, yeah. What would you say is your signature style, Marvin? Yeah, so my signature style maybe is exploration. I really love exploration. Mm -hmm. It reminds me a lot of science. Yes. And, um, you know, I really believe that um, if you explore, you can always find new ideas. Mm -hmm. And um, I love innovation in that regard. Yes, yes. And so from, from, from the, the two lands of the sun, um, you come together to meet your beautiful wife. Tell me if I got the pronunciation right. Is it Reika? Yes, yes, that's very correct. Hi, Thank Reika. Thank you very much. So, so Reika, I, I know you're a, you, are, you are a student. Um, international relations, globalization, and all of that. Um, and then you meet a handsome Jamaican man, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but now you're also doing art. How did that yeah. start? So I always liked art from when I was a child. Yeah. But uh, because I pursued um, the field of more of an academic one, I went to grad school and I also did more sporting. Mm -hmm. So I never really got into art that much, like as much as I do now. Yes. But I always like and I always wish like, oh, maybe I should have gone to an art college or something. Yes. So I met him and he encouraged me to uh, draw, try to draw on a bigger paper mm -hmm. and in more detail way or in more professional way. Wow. So he gave me inspiration and encouragement, so I made a start. So you had your own art teacher at work. So how does it work, Reka? Uh, I, I mean, I know he, he encouraged you to start, but does he influence a lot of the style that you have? Or after a while you said, listen, Marvin, I'm doing my own art. <laughs> no, he does influence my art. Uh, he does yeah. influence yeah, art. And it's, it's not just art because it's, it's about philosophy. It's about how we live, how we, how we see people, how we see the environment. Mm -hmm. So we always talk, we always <laughs> discuss at home and naturally inspire me. And I, and, um, you know, he, he gave, gave me a lot of influence. Yes. Marvin, a, a lot of what, and, and Reka said, a lot of the work that you do is inspired by your own experience about that yeah. uh, coming together of cultures and people Jamaica and Japan. Talk to me a little bit about that, that inspiration um, and how it impacts the work that you do. Yeah, so, um, you know, the environment has a lot to do with um, how the artists think mm -hmm. and um, the kind of problem that the artist wants to address. Yes. So, you know, um, while I was in Jamaica, I worked a particular way, but um, here in Japan, I worked um, a little different um, based on Japanese environment. So Tell, explain that. Of, explain that to me. Do you use different types of material um, being in Japan? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah so that has to do with the material too. Yeah. But uh, most of all, have to also do with the physical environment. So I, I love to paint from uh, realistic um, objects. Mm -hmm. And um, so it's hard to not see some of Japan's beauty. 
mm. and some of Jamaican beauty and try to combine them. Yes. And uh, while combining the beauty, I also try to use it as the education tool because you know art can can have a didactic purposes. Yes. Yeah. Oh, it's I'm looking at the work. It is so beautiful. Um, and, and not only it's award-winning work, and it's getting you a lot of notice um, here in Jamaica, but also in Japan. Talk to me about Japan. that. Talk to me about that. And how did that evolve for you? Yeah, so uh, we came to Japan in 2018. Mm -hmm. And since then, we have been uh, doing a lot of works. So we've been mm -hmm. doing a lot of exhibition and so forth. And of course, producing artworks. Mm -hmm. And um, they, where, where we exhibit, we get a lot of appreciation. Yes. So it's just a matter of we being motivated and we trying to do our best to, you know, raise the Jamaican flag as high as possible. Wow, you're, you're raising two flags at once, Jamaica and Japan. Right, and one of the things that you yeah. guys did in the <laughs> pandemic, as most people did, you know, everybody was pivoting. And, and you have Coconut Kitchen? Yes. yes. <laughs> Tell me about yeah. Coconut Kitchen. Yeah. Okay, so, you know, when we just came to Japan, uh, we have a little culture shock and um, one of the things we miss the most is uh, some of Jamaican food. Mm -hmm. So we try to find ways to make Jamaican food, but not all of the ingredients we can find so very easy. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. after a while we become creative and um, we, in our creativity we wanted to spread some of our creativity. Yeah. So we came up with the idea of coconut kitchen. And um, you know, coconut is a very good flavor. Mm -hmm. And um, coconut itself, from the tree to the fruit, um, it's very <laughs> flexible, very, very, very resourceful. And um, that's how we see ourselves. So, you know, um, coconut kitchen is really about giving entertainment <laughs> and also um, about the food as well. Yeah. And finding alternatives to Jamaican ingredients. Yes. But I see, Rika, is that you singing in the kitchen? <laughs> yes, <laughs> it's me and uh, I love singing, but uh, we do Jamaican singing mostly, so he also, Marvin also, yeah. uh, advised me to yeah. <laughs> teach me about culture more. Although I was in Jamaica, but I'm not, I, you know, I am from Japan, so he has a lot to talk to me about. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I, Marvin is in the background, you, you think he's at uh, a reggae show? Yeah which I know is popular in Japan <laughs> as well. Uh, so, so you both have, is it the Nala Creative Studio? Yeah. Right. Yeah. So Raika, tell me about the studio and um, just, is this where the work is exhibited? Is this where you create the work? Uh, so it, it is where we create the work. It is, mm -hmm. it is. Um... <laughs> it's like the parent business of all of our businesses. Oh, okay. Uh, so, okay. So, so, yeah, so we do a lot of things under the name of Nala Creative Studio. Ah. That's, that's where we do our official uh, business as well, because we have to do like documentation uh, here in Japan. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's where it is. So, so it's art, it's food, it's entertainment. Am I leaving anything out? Oh, uh, yes. So we try to um, create um, from all different um, levels. So, you know, um, here in Japan, um, we can afford uh, resources uh, such as tools very easy. Mm -hmm. So um, the DIY culture is is um, strongly encouraged. Yes. So we're just making a lot of use of it, and you know um, we want to get as much ideas. So when we return to Jamaica, we can uh, contribute um, some of those ideas that we learn. Oh, Japan. that's excellent! And also the ways in which I believe as parents you pass that kind of appreciation for cultures and understanding to your children. It's a beautiful thing. Jamaica yeah, and Japan. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jamaica and Japan has a long, long standing love affair. So we're very yes. happy to see you. Um, if we want to see more of the work, watch Coconut Kitchen, how do we find you guys? Okay, so uh, we are on Instagram or Facebook, YouTube. So you can just search the word N-A-L-A, -A, Nala, mm -hmm. Creative Studio. And email is Nala Creative Studios. Uh, uh, don't forget to put the S. Yes. And at gmail.com. All right, guys. It's awesome meeting you. So proud of you both for the work you continue to do. And I look forward to 
to you taking your exhibition to Jamaica so we can yes, share. Sure, sure. We will love to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rika can sing when the guests come in and we're going to work it out. We're going to work it out. <laughs> meet, the Tom meet the Thompsons. Jamaican visual yes. artist Marvin Thompson and his wife, Rika. It's anything but a bag day here on Smile. Stick and stay for that fun stop after the break. <laughs> 